Hi Thomas. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your boot camps. Since 2009 we've done more than 100 camps all over the world and we've had more than 2,000 students signing up for these camps over the years. It evolved into a really global adventure for me. Cool, so can you tell me some of the places you've been around the world? We've hosted the camps all over the world. Uh, for example, in Melbourne, Moscow, New York, London, Paris, Los Angeles, Berlin, Vienna, Helsinki, Tokyo, all over the world, and it's been a really wonderful experience. Grand Junction, Another unique thing about your camp is you have special guests that come and visit the camps. Can you name a few? I try to have a guest at every camp. Billy Ward, Jojo Mayer, Virgil Donati, Terry Bozio. I've had Luis Conte, Kurt Piscara, Mark Schulman, Greg Bissonnette, John Deddy, many, many more. Christoph Schneider from Rammstein. So it's been a really incredible addition. Um, what made you decide to host your drum camps? It was an idea that I uh, came up with about 10 years ago and initially uh, it was a fairly chaotic and not very well organized guerrilla style operation where people contacted me on uh, social media, MySpace at the time and things like that. I started teaching people in hotel rooms and meeting rooms in hotels on my off days on the road. After a while some of these students said, hey do you mind if I bring a friend or two or three and I started organizing it and giving it a name designing a website so people can actually sign up for this, etc. So this is how the idea was born. What do you think makes your camps so successful? There is a high demand for very technical drumming education out there. Not to pat myself on the shoulder, but people like the way I play, uh, thankfully. Students know my instructional products, my DVDs, my books, etc., and know I'm a good teacher. And I think they're looking for somebody who can not only play, uh, but also teach. So what can the student expect on your drum camps? I create a very unique and personalized, customized curriculum for each camp. I like to work with each student. I like to know each student's name. And I want to keep it intense, small, and, and very intimate and dynamic. I do a lot of research into what each student wants to learn at the camp, before the camp. They fill out what the top three things are that they want to work on. And I create a curriculum out of all those top three things from all those campers. I was the first one to, in fact, allow every student to play on a practice kit with all four limbs for the whole duration of the camp. They will walk away with results. Those are guaranteed. The camp is so intense it's pleasure spiked with pain and vice versa. You, got, you get the best of both worlds. You get a killer workout and you, you've got the blisters and the bleeding fingers and you know you burn 4,500 calories in a weekend or in a day actually we measured that once. But it's also the fun factor, the hang, you know, the food, the stories and everything else. It's the whole package. Is there any age or standard or level for uh, your camps? There is no age uh, limitation or rest rest restriction in any kind of way. We, we have you know, sign-ups, kids who are 14, 13, 9-year-olds, and we've had people who are 70 and older at the camp. So there's no age limit or skill uh, limit. You'll have a 9-year-old drummer and a 40-year-old drummer sit next to each other, play the same thing, and both have the exact same amount of fun. Uh, we've never had any campers 
um, say, oh, I can't keep up, or oh, this was too much, or this was too easy for me. I create a curriculum that works for absolutely everybody in the room, where everybody is challenged, but is still able to play along and follow all the exercises. The past few years, a lot of other drummers have copied your concept of the drum camps. How do you feel about that? Well, I think for a lack of imagination and innovation, there's often a lot of imitation. And it is my initial idea and my concept. I was the first artist who started hosting independent drum camps like that. It is in a way flattering, of course, because people look at my camp and go, wow, yeah, this is a great idea. Why don't I just take that and do my own thing? So what makes the Thomas Lane Boot Camps the best? I understand what it's like and my team understands what it's like to make everybody feel welcome and show them a lot of patience, warmth and love. I think that is something, the general energy in the room at our camps that makes them the most fertile ground for learning and just a wonderful overall, not only musical, but also human experience for all the students.